This is something that I don't comprehend. I don't get it. I don't. I, I thought this type of garbage was left back in like the 2000s and late 90s. Like I just not long ago do a video on Jack Thompson, the mental video game lawyer that was calling, that started calling like Grand Theft Auto and all those other games as murder simulators. They're murder simulator. And here we have right here, murder simulator, the exact same language being used. Muslim advocacy group calls on Valve to drop six days in Fallujah from Steam. The Council on American Islamic Relations described the game as an Arab murder simulator. So every single Call of Duty game. Every single Call of Duty game. What about Insurgency Sandstorm? I play that. that. You do the exact same thing in that. In all the Call of Duty games, you do the exact same thing. Arma, you do the exact same thing. I don't understand why this game in particular is getting singled out. I think it's just these people don't actually have any idea about video games and don't have a clue about video games, but this one sort of fell on the normie radar and they're focusing on this one when there are tons of games out there that have the exact same thing. The Council on American Islamic Relations, <laughs> Jesus Christ, those must be awkward meetings, uh, Washington DC based civil rights and advocacy group for Muslims is asking Valve, Microsoft and Sony to refuse to distribute Six Days in Fallujah, an upcoming tactical FPS based on the second battle of Fallujah, one of the bloodiest battles in the Iraq war. Which one? <laughs> uh, we, we call on Microsoft, Sony and Valve to ban the platforms from hosting Six Days in Fallujah, an Arab murder simulator. It will only normalise violence against Muslims. Ah, here we go. The, the, tri the tried and true arguments of the 90s and 2000s. Here we go. Normalise violence against Muslims in America and around the world. Care Research and Advocacy Coordinator Husayfa Shabazz. Uh, this is like a magic spell. Uh, said, said in a statement. Why is there all these big gaps? The gaming industry must stop dehumanising Muslims. Video games like Six Days in Fallujah only serve to glorify violence that took the lives of hundreds of Iraqi civilians, justify the Iraq war, and reinforce anti-Muslim sentiment at a time when anti-Muslim bigotry continues to threaten human life. Mm. Sweet Jesus. Six Days in Fallujah was originally announced in 2009, but the controversial subject matter led publisher Konami. Effectively halting it. Uh, nah. No, 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 no. That's, I, <laughs> I don't believe uh, the controversial subject matter is why Konami dropped it. Uh, Konami are a pachinko company now and they're crap. Uh, developer Atomic Games was unable to find a new publisher and went out of business in 2011, although its website, complete with a commitment to finishing the game, remains in February 2021. Six Days was unexpectedly, uh, unexpectedly re-announced with development now in the hands of a new studio, Highwire Games, and a new publisher, Victura, founded by former Atomic Games CEO Peter Tamte. Right, it's a case of this is a normie, this is a game that has somehow fallen on the normies' radar, because see if they came in and had a look like at my Steam library. Oh Jesus, they would go mental. Like all the Call of Duties, I've got Insurgency Sandstorm and I've, I love Insurgency Sandstorm. In fact, I always like to go with the terrorists because their long range rifles are better. <laughs> but like that's the thing is, this is just one game out of many that do the exact same thing that has fell on the normies radar. That's what this is. Not, and the thing is you were getting game developers coming out against this as well. Never. Never in all my years did I think I would see the game developers and game journalists themselves coming out and spewing the exact same arguments as Jack Thompson. The exact it's a murder simulator. You 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 have to get lots of guns and the aim of the game is to blow away as many people as possible. It's a murder simulator. Give me two hundred million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> it's like video game journalists. You know, I don't. I don't understand it. Why are you advocating against your own industry? The arguments that are being made about Six Days in Fallujah, you can make the exact same argument about every single video game out there that involves shooting people or combat of some kind. Why are you advocating against your own industry? Do you want fired? Do you want your industry to crumble? How are you going to keep making video games if nobody's buying them because they're all banned? You know, like, oh, there's going to be video games that's just cats, just some platformer. 
where you don't even have enemies, you don't even kill enemies or anything like that. Like even Super Mario with the mushrooms, uh, we feel that this might inspire violence against <laughs> against fungi. Garbage. Right, this this whole oh it might inspire people to attack Muslims and everything like that. No, 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 you're not you're not doing that crap again. You're not doing that yet. Children that play Counter Strike are gonna commit mass shootings. No, you're no. No. No, well we're not we're not doing this again. Leave this garbage back in the late nineties and early two thousands where it's belong. The argument's been done, the argument's over, right? Millions of people around the world play video games, right? Millions, tens of millions, probably hundreds of millions, right? Everyone plays video games, and yet there isn't, oh, apart from in America, right, everywhere else in the world, they aren't having mass shootings all the time because some kid played Call of Duty too much and he's running around his local, local shopping centre trying to unlock the diamond camo, right? No, it doesn't happen, right? Leave this garbage back in the 90s where it belongs.